guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books and today I'm here with a very exciting announcement and if you saw the title you know it is the Paranormal Romance Readathon. When Lacey, Lisa, and I did the Historical Romance Readathon twice already this year, we had also thrown around the idea of doing a Paranormal Romance Readathon and we decided to wait until the spooky season to do it. Now there are a ton of spooky readathons happening in October. It is going to be October 30th through November 6th. So we're still reading on Halloween but we're going into a little bit of the early November and we have six hosts for this. Myself, Lisa from Markably Lisa, Lacey from Lacey Book Lovers, Charles from Books on Stereo, Desiree from Genki Reader, and Crystal from Crystal's Bookish Life. So I will link them all down below. And we are dedicating a week to reading Paranormal Romance. Now we do have a bingo board for this and a group book. So I'll do the bingo board first and then discuss the group book. So there are a bunch of different challenges and I already have so many books I want to read for this readathon. Paranormal is just any paranormal kind of creature creature or world in the book. So you can have angels, vampires, werewolves, demons, ghosts, anything fun like that. And sometimes I do think fantasy and paranormal kind of intermix because I know a lot of fantasy books that have paranormal creatures. Do what you want. Nobody's going to be policing what you read. But the first category is reading a novella and I, there are so many I want to read. I know for sure Mating the Huntress by Talia Hibbert I want to read and Sacrifice by Katie Robert. Those are two novellas that I want to get to during this readathon. We also have Faded Mates which is one of my absolute favorite tropes. It is when they are destined to be together and they only can be with that person and there is just just this mating bond between them. Next is Vampire Romance. Pretty straightforward. Then we have an indie author and that means that this book is published independently so it is not through a publisher and if you need any help with that reach out and ask one of us. I know I'm at least going to be doing a separate recommendation video for this readathon probably in the next couple weeks so I will have recommendations for this as well if you're not sure who to read for this. The next one is pretty generic. It has an animal so this can be a shifter or like an animal companion. So like in the Black Dagger Brotherhood series Series. I know that Wrath has his pet dog with him all the time. That counts. And they also have the cat that hangs around the house. But you can also be like a werewolf because that's technically an animal. So if they shift into something, I know there's like a honey badger paranormal romance. Like shifting into any kind of animal is fine. Then we have LGBTQ which means that it has to be a LGBTQ romance. So I don't know too many of these. I do know for this one though I'm going to be reading a TJ Klune. Wolf Song is one of my favorite books of all time. It's werewolves and it is a LGBTQ romance. So I'm probably going to read book two for this. But we also have a couple in the Black Dagger Brotherhood for this and I will have to do my research on finding more recommendations for you guys but I'm excited for this one because I can finally force myself to continue on in TJ Klune series. Then we have my favorite which is Angel Romance. I can't wait to get to this one. Then we have Dark in the title and I have noticed a lot of series have Dark in the title. Not just Dark Lover by J.R. Ward but lots of other series like Brenda Joyce has a series and I think Christine Feehan has somewhat dark in the title. I was just looking at eBay right before this at a bunch of books. There's a lot that could work for this challenge. And the last one is published before 2010. So this one is just your stereotypical 2000s mass market paperback paranormal romances that are out there. And like I said, I was looking at eBay at some lots and I'm excited for this one. I might be reading a Brenda Joyce for this one, but we have so many classic authors. Christine Feehan, Cressley Cole, Laura Adrian, Nalini Singh, Jarrah Ward, so many to choose from. Karen Marie Moaning, a lot of pre-2010 books that you can read for this. The group book counts for an indie published book. I think it's pretty short. It is The Power of Hades by Eliza Rain and Rose Wilson. Charles came up with this book. We were throwing out ideas for a group book and he said he'd heard a lot about this and I was like, um, yes, we're gonna read that. So I believe she gets kidnapped. This is book one in a series and I've heard good things. It's got pretty decent ratings. So the very first sentence is, I've been kidnapped by Zeus plucked from the streets of Manhattan and frightened half to death by the freaking Olympian god. Ooh, and now she's trapped in the underworld, forced to compete in a series of deadly trials for the position of queen of the underworld, which would mean marrying Hades. So this sounds so good. The cover is absolutely stunning and I'm very excited to read this. I'm very excited for this readathon. I will be posting my TBR closer to the date of the readathon and like I said, a recommendation video soon. Check out all the other host channels. They all are having an video today and make sure you go follow them all. I'm very 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 excited to be doing this and that's all I have. Let me know if you're going to be joining and if you have any like absolute 
romances I have to read for this readathon, let me know. As always, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye.